Hello, this is eLife Reflections. Welcome to another time of study. Today, we will reflect on the topic, Why are you in the race? And our scripture is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 to 27. I read, Isn't it obvious that all runners in the race track keep on running to win? but only one receives the victor's prize. Yet, each one of you must run the race to be victorious. A true athlete will be disciplined in every respect, practicing constant self-control in order to win a laurel wreath that quickly withers. But we run our race to win a victor's crown that will last forever. For that reason, I don't run just for exercise or box like one throwing aimless punches, but I train like a champion athlete. I subdue my body and get it under my control so that after preaching the good news to others, I myself won't be disqualified. Amen. There are several reasons why individuals undertake various disciplines or assignments. Some do it as a result of passion, pleasure, or for popularity. The motive for every action or undertaking would always impact the results we achieve at the end of the performance. In the verses above, Paul, while writing to the church in Corinth, describes the Christian life to a race or a contest. So, let us consider this analogy and how it applies to our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. To better understand these verses, friend, let us do a review by answering the following questions. How many people who run in the race receive the victor's prize? What two distinct qualities do true athletes exhibit in their pursuit? What is the value of the reward they receive for their earthly exploit? Why did Paul not run casually or fight like one throwing aimless punches? And how did he handle himself in order not to be disqualified in this contest? And finally, are you running the race to be counted, to finish well, or to win? What's your objective? There are some truths in the scripture above that applies to us. And so let's recap. One, it says that all runners keep on running to win but only one receives the victor's prize each one of us must run the race with the aim to be victorious again it says that a true athlete disciplines himself practicing constant self-control in order to win the prize they win is a laurel that quickly withers or fades away But we must run our Christian race to win a victor's crown that will last forever. Again, Paul said, I don't run just for exercise or box like one throwing aimless punches. He said he trains himself like a champion athlete, so he won't be disqualified after preaching to others. Hallelujah. If it is possible to be disqualified, then how should we run this race? Trent, join me as we go through the following actions that would help us to run a good race. 1. Let us fight the desires of the sinful nature through the power of the Holy Spirit 
Galatians chapter 5 verse 16, the Bible says, So I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. 2. Let us faithfully obey the word of God, which is able to make us successful. Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 9, the Bible says, Therefore keep the terms of this covenant and obey them so that you may be successful in everything you do. 3. Let us face the future with hope on the promise of God which does not fail. Jude 24, I like what the Bible says, God can guard you so that you don't fall and so that you can be full of joy as you stand in his glorious presence without fall. Hallelujah. Point four. Let us follow and obey the rules of the race to the latter in order to win the crown. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 5. The Bible says that an athlete who runs in a race cannot win the prize unless he obeys the rule. Point number five, let us forget about the distractions of past pains or pleasure. Philippians chapter 3 verse 13 b, Paul said, but this one thing I do, forgetting everything which is past and stretching forward to what lies in front of me. 6. Let us focus and run towards the finish line to win God's heavenly prize. Philippians 3.14, Paul again says that, With my eyes fixed on the goal, I push on to secure the prize of God's heavenward call in Christ Jesus. And finally, let us finish our race very well to obtain the unperishable crown. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 25b, Paul again says, But we run our race to win the victor's crown, which will last forever. Hallelujah. Remember, we can miss the mark or be disqualified if we are not disciplined. If our ultimate aim is to make it to heaven and to receive the victor's crown which lasts forever, then we would have to go through the rigorous training of disciplining our body to do what it should and not what it wants. Child of God, let us run with an internal purpose in mind, following the example of Christ our Lord. He did not give up because of the cross. On the contrary, he endured the cross thus regarding the shame because of the joy that was awaiting him. And now he is seated in the place of Anna besides the throne of the Father. Hallelujah. This is all that time would allow us to share today. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. And I pray that he will smile on us with joy, saying to you and I, well done. Hallelujah. And so until I come your way again, this is Suska wishing you Jesus. Jesus.